or we celebrated yesterday 20 years since the start of the Euro. What would you say about that celebration? Well, it was completely misplaced because the Euro is an awful monetary design. Uh, it has been absolutely detrimental to the interests of the European Union. It was a mistake. It was badly, bad. I'm not against a, mo a common currency. I'm against the particular architectural fault lines built, baked into this currency. This currency has created the kind of um, never-ending crisis since 2009, 2010, which is now causing the fragmentation of our European Union. If we have xenophobic, racist forces springing out in Austria, in Italy, in France, everywhere, it is because of the awful design of the euro. Now, once we've created it, we have to fix it, not celebrate. So you're here today to talk about your party and essentially launch your, in a sense, your campaign for the European elections. How do you intend to change the, the current status quo? Well, our, our European New Deal, which is a, a very comprehensive policy agenda, comprises primarily two components. One has to do with economic and social policies that can be implemented as of tomorrow morning, even within the existing treaties. Because the usual retort by the institutions, ah, these are good ideas, but they're not legal. So we have particular ideas on how to have a very large scale green investment fund in Europe that will create the good quality jobs that are absolutely essential to start the process of mending the social fabric of Europe. We have particular proposals about the banking system, particular pro proposals about public debt restructure across Europe, in a way that is firstly rational and secondly legal. The second component com uh, uh, consists of uh, proposals regarding the democratization, effectively moving towards a democratic constitution that will replace all, all the treaties and that will create democratic legitimacy in Brussels and in Frankfurt. You said that, uh, indeed, the Irish MEP said that if there had been a strong progressive alliance in the European Parliament, it could have made a real difference. Looking at how the Parliament is at the moment, do you think that you can bring together the S&D group, Socialist Democrats, the Green group, other people who would be favourable to your message? One can only hope. Unfortunately, the Social Democrats have disgraced themselves after 10 years of participating in a crime against logic with their connivance in all the fiscal compacts, the bailouts of our countries, Ireland, Greece and so on, that were awfully designed and precipitated the crisis. Uh, at the moment, as European Spring and DiEM25, we're concentrating on changing the conversation in Europe. Because let's face it, most Europeans are, and political forces around Europe are treating European Parliament elections as a glorified uh, opinion poll for the national elections. We take them very seriously and we have this agenda and we want to be elected on this agenda. And I believe that Yes, there are threshold, threshold effects in history and in politics. If we manage to change this conversation, a lot of good people who are at the moment captured by other political formations that are going nowhere will probably join us.